Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, let's have a look at the PE Plus, that is the Pixel Experience Plus ROM for the LG V30. As you can see here, this has the June 2021 security patch level, and this is based on Android 11. So basically the difference between PE and PE Plus is that it has a few more customization options, and I like it way more than I like PE. So here you have the quad deck option and quad deck works here and you have some other quick tile options as you can see here but you cannot customize anything here uh, let me turn off the airplane mode and here so do note that volti won't work on any usb room it will only work on stock room so it does not work here but dual sim works and apart from that let's jump into the system and here you have a few gesture options like quickly open camera, gesture navigation options. And in the gesture navigation options, you have three options. But for the gestures, these are the options as you can see here. You can customize it, how much of the screen you want to make available for gestures. So that's pretty cool. And you have option to swipe to screenshot by using three fingers. And you have a few power control options. You can even enable advanced restart and that will come when you power use the power option and you have a few menu shortcuts here and you have some other stuff now let's move on here are the button options and as you can see here how can you see the digital navigation power menu controls you can end the call by pressing the power button long press for torch and you can control playback by using volume button so as you may be noticing that pixel experience plus has a lot more options that the pixel experience room and you have click for partial screenshot all that as you can see here and here are the status bar options you can even enable, enable on the status bar or quick settings to show you your traffic internet that is happening right now you can customize the system icons that are being shown you can double tap to sleep on the status bar or on the lock screen to turn off the display and you have clock option on the left and some minor customization options for the clock etc and you can show always the brightness slider now it will be always on the top as you can see here you can control brightness by sliding across the taskbar and you can even customize the number of rows and columns that you want to see here and now you see there are a lot more options and further in advance there's nothing special let's get out of here and let's just see if there are any options under accessibility settings because some rooms have some options hidden here like you have the dark theme here but it is also available in the display section and yes so this is what i was talking about you can customize the bright vibration level here so that's pretty cool but i'll leave it on medium we have the three options here and you even have live transcription here so you can basically enable that from this option here as well as you can see here i'll disable that and let's jump in to the display section here you have the option for night light as you can see here and you can even schedule that or change the intensity you have live display so as you can see there are a lot of options here that are generally present on lineage OS but not on pixel experience room because this is basically the plus version and here you have a few customization options you can customize how it looks and you can even create a custom style of your own by choosing the font icon style color etc and you can even customize the shape so that's pretty cool and moving on you can change the display size phone size etc and here are the double tap to wake options and tap to sleep i think they are disabled by default so you will have to go in and enable them and on the lock screen options you can enable the always on display display media cover etc so that's where the always on display is hidden you can even enable this prevent accidental wake up so the phone is not turned on in your pocket you have a host of other google apps built in here like google photos google app etc and if you like google apps this is the room for you and here is the launcher settings as you can see here 
so you have option for at a glance and swipe to access google app overview suggestions that kind of stuff and apart from that the battery life has been pretty rock solid on this room even though it has google apps built in which consume a lot of battery and performance is amazing as for the bugs with this room i will be listing them down and they are present in the description below and you can check that out for the links to download as well as an aosp guide like what you need to do to flash Android 11 rooms, what are the preparation needed, and what are the bugs present right down on Android 11 and Android 10 rooms. And I've also made reviews on some other rooms, so you can also check that out down there. So do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. 